we are together yet divided. Exploring As part of efforts to further advocate for a gender inclusive society, the Policy Innovation Center of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group has organized a gender and inclusion summit in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. The summit, tagged PICGS 2022, made a case for gender equality in the country while advocating for a more widely inclusive Nigerian society such that people living with disabilities and albinism can occupy decision-making positions in the nation. The country director, Plan International, one of the non-governmental organizations partnering the PIC to actualize the lofty ambition of inclusion, said its organization prioritizes issues of the girl child as they continue to work towards a balanced society. Similarly, the country director, CBM Global Disability Inclusion, Ekaite Umo, asserted that the idea of who is inferior to who has to be eradicated for the world to experience broader development. Plan is an agency that is known for our ability to put the issues of the girl child on the front burner. And one of the big things we celebrate every year is that we actually have what we call the girl takeover during the celebration of the International Day of the Girl Child. Every day, every day, October 11th. Um, so October 11th is the International Day for the Girl Child. Coincidentally, that is my mom's birthday. So, what brought about exclusion in the first place? We must begin to think of those indices, those things that are actually will exclude us from the conversation that we take. One of such examples that have happened over the years is theory of ableism. Mm. That ableism theory. Who does what? What can you and cannot do? Who is inferior to who? Even within the diverse space, we still sit down to see who is not equal to the other. And so there's that disconnect of voices. We are not able to look at the, uh, you know, the common denominator that can join us. Instead, we begin to look at that tiny, tiny thing that separates us. So with me, our sister, uh, Nigeria's Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, was unequivocal with the government's position on women issues as she stressed some of the giant steps taken by the current administration to aid the development of women in the country. We took a conscious decision that 50% of the jobs should be for women. And at the end of the day, I hope that we all women will talk to them because they made an assessment of the uh, report of the Economic Sustainability Plan, the report indicates that we actually met the targets in a lot of the areas and in some we superseded the targets. So maybe the yeah, women will speak to that. The federal government of Nigeria has the Government Enterprise Empowerment Program, the G program, the largest uh, proportion of beneficiaries of the G program are the women. We have also the conditional cash transfer program. 93% of the caregivers are women. In the same vein, the World Bank representative, Shubham Chowdhury, said Nigeria should target strengthening women participation in the economic space, stressing the need for policymakers to digitalize some of the tasks involving the female gender. Taking that to one of the key engagements and set core engagements in our whole program in Nigeria is what we call the SWAG engagement, which is supporting women and girls, another acronym. And so it's about adolescent girls, it's about the Nigeria for Women program, which is when you have women who have the potential by coming together, you know, beginning with mobilizing savings amongst themselves. So you talked about a gap, the gap is what are the things that women need to realize their full economic potential. A big part of that is just access to finance. Okay, but it goes beyond that. It's access to markets. Uh, so the, women's, uh, the Nigeria for Women program is very much about that. The Policy Innovation Center of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group is the first national level body of its kind for applying behavioral insight and other innovative policy tools in Africa. In Abuja, Nigeria's capital, Abiyodun Mohammed, Top Accolade News.